This is the propeller blades I've been using on my boat. Yeah, I took it apart. Um, first I made these blades a little bigger than I thought they should be and then trimmed them down to the point where I thought they were a little bit too small so I could figure the size should be just a little bit bigger than that. And uh, I was hammering them a lot, getting them into the right kind of shape. And once I was satisfied with them, I decided to make some really good copies because, you know, with all the hammering and bending on this, they don't come out super smooth. You know, they're smooth-ish, but definitely not super smooth. So then I took the blades off and pulled out a piece of curvy pipe I've been saving because uh, propeller blades, it's kind of nice to have a curve one way this way, but then the opposite way this way, you know, like a saddle curve. And an inside curve of a pipe does that. So I laid this on here, figured out where it matched the closest, drew my blade a little bit bigger, or actually a little longer in the same same width, cut it out, and then I got three blades that I didn't have to curve. So because I didn't curve them, the curve is really even and uh, there's no dents or anything. So this should be pretty much an optimized propeller for the boat hoping pretty close anyway oh before I made this one I also did some calculations see that calculations to uh, you know check that my propeller blades are at least theoretically about right and they they seem pretty good based on the calculations I did increase the pitch just a little bit based on the calculations because according to my calculations, my old propeller was limiting my speed at about 9 miles per hour. And I got up to maybe a little bit more than that. And I got up to 8.9 miles per hour. So I mean, that's pretty good. So I made this one so it'll hopefully go more like 10-ish. I hope. I've used up all my internal curves pipes. So hopefully I got it. Oh, look at that. So smooth. I did have to buff the inside because that pipe was an exhaust pipe. So the outer curve was very shiny and polished, but the inside was pretty rough. Oh, if you want to see all the details of how this is fit together, just go back a few videos to where I, I, I made one. Right, hopefully this still fits. anything in the water. Oh, it's a good looking propeller. Hope it works as good as it looks. Hold on, Aurora. Sounds like it's balanced a lot better than the last one. Nice. I kind of want to take the boat out. I don't know about the weather though.
to pee. Well, I do need to figure out how to pee off this boat. Oh, I could just kind of lean over kind of in an uncomfortable way. Oh wait, if I just put one foot there and one foot here, ah, should be no problem. I could put half my weight on that. Or I could stand right on the front, pee off the side. Oh, maybe I'll do that. That sounds kind of fun. You know, I will need to be able to get up to the roof to deploy my solar covers and undo them when I'm out in the water. So I should test this. Oh, piece of cake. Oh, this is excellent. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to go pee. Okay, bye. I think before I go in, I'm going to get some exercise. All right. Ten laps around the bay. Pedals only. Alternating between legs and arms. All right. Looks like a good spot to start. Oh, All right, Jamie, what are you doing here? So this gear here fits in here and it presses against this gear and it's pushed against the gear with this rubber wheel. Now the rubber wheel was pushing against, you know, this round pipe and there wasn't that much surface area for it to really push on. And once in a while, if I was pedaling hard, it would skip a gear. <coughs> Make a terrible sound. Didn't get damaged because the material is really strong. Uh, I would like to fix it though. So I'm putting this flat plate along the back. I'm not sure if it's thick enough. It might end up just getting bent over time. Still, it'll give a better surface for the wheel to press against, this wheel to press against, than uh, just that pipe. Cut this out of an old toaster oven. I didn't put oil on it at the beginning because I wanted the teeth to wear into each other. And these are way smoother than when I made it. So it looks like that worked. All right, now this propeller. Uh, there's a pipe inside that gets smashed in there and it presses against the tabs at the bottom of these that are folded up. Uh, and it holds it, it locks it all together. So when I smashed that pipe in, it bent these propeller blades back further than I wanted them to be. I was hoping it wouldn't really matter, so I just tried it. And now I'm thinking maybe that mattered more than I was hoping. So I took my vice grapes and cranked them forward, bent them. I didn't want to do that because I don't want to loosen them, but they still seem like they're in there tight. So I think it'll be all right. So let's see if that makes any difference here. All right, let's give that stuff a try. All right, pedals, don't skip. Oh, I'm pedaling pretty hard now. No skipping. Oh, I just heard one skip, two skips. I'm pedaling way harder than I could before, though. Yeah, I could only do this for like 30 seconds before I'd be full of lactic acid. All right, that's good. Yeah, I'm getting some decent speed too. All right, now let's see if that propeller made any difference. Oh, that does feel better. Oh, that feels a lot better. All right, let's crank it full speed. Whoa, whoa, that feels like way better acceleration. Now, I don't know, because I don't have my thing on me, but 
just based on the thing here, how much it's splashing. I think I'm going faster and I'm not even pedaling. Oh yeah, this is definitely faster. Okay, I think that just made a huge difference. Six on the uh, propeller blades. Ah, look at that sucker fly. Oh. I'll have to get the uh, GPS out here and check it ah, tomorrow or something. I'm just going to play right now. Oh, I love this boat. Oh, and I can pedal harder now? Man, I should be able to get definitely better speed. I have to admit, I was a little bit concerned yesterday when I was getting that crappy old performance. But yeah, this is very promising. Hopefully I'm not just imagining it. This is way faster. Okay, impartial observer, you need to tell me if this is any faster or slower or what than yesterday. Okay. Hey, we didn't even accelerate all the way. Is it like way faster? Cool. Look, the pontoons make splashes now. They never used to make splashes before. I mean, they used to make kind of a little wave, but now they're actually splashing bits. I think it's even faster with some weight in the front of the boat. We're leveled out now. 